Welcome everybody, my name is Anona Maya and today we're going to be cooking loaded nachos. Ah! Hi everybody, my name is Anona Maya and today we're going to be cooking nachos. First, we're going to load our nachos in some oven safe um, tray and I have here some chips that we cook and we make here in the indigenous food lab. They are handcrafted here, they are so beautiful, they are so delicious. And for the cashew crema, really what you just need is salt cashews, the seasoning you prefer, honestly any seasoning that you have at home. I use some fresh oregano, I use some smack berries, and I use also some apple cider vinegar to give it that acidity. You're also gonna add some of the crema, of the cashew crema on top, and then we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for five minutes. This is just to warm the crema, and also to give a little like golden brown color to the crema as well, and to warm the nachos. There you go. So we have our nachos in the oven with our cashew crema, and now we're gonna finish up all the other toppings. I have right here some uh, cooked black beans with a little bit of the soup that it gets uh, in Latin America and Guatemala and Mexico. We really cook our beans like that, and they are nice and, and delicious and creamy. And I also have here some shallots. That's the only thing I had, but you can use leeks, onions, anything from the onion family will work really well with this. I also have some tomatoes, and I have some shredded um, turkey, and I have some Swiss chard here. Our pan is already hot and it has the oil in it, so we're gonna throw our shallots in it. Nice, that's the sound you want. That's the sound you want. You don't want anything else in that. That's great. It's looking good, smelling good as well. And I'm gonna turn it off just a little bit, turn it down just a little bit. And when this is going, I'm gonna go check on my nachos and I'll be right back. Coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. I'm gonna remove this from the stuff because I wanna show you first how this looks. So you see, our chips are warm and our crema is also warm up a little bit. So this is nice. This is just our base. So we're gonna finish up with the rest of our toppings and then we're gonna get it all together, okay? So this is looking nice and golden brown. It's having a nice color. So I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in there. Nice, very nice. Very, very nice. Smelling really nice and yummy. Just a little bit of salt. And keep cooking it down. Keep cooking it down, really nice. You can see the tomatoes are soft and they're kind of like dissolving and kind of becoming a nice little sauce. We're gonna add our beans to it. But I'm throwing about half a cup of beans. This is about two tomatoes and a whole medium-sized shallot. Okay, this is looking nice. This is looking nice, so nice. Mmm, this on top of our nachos is gonna be so good. I can already taste it. Okay, this is done, so I'm gonna set it aside. And now it's time to do our turkey and our greens. Okay. Our pan is nice and hot, you can already see. And this is gonna be really fast because the turkey is already cooked, so we're just reheating. And usually greens take like two seconds to cook, so I'm using the same spatula. I'm the same as you. I don't wanna to wash too many dishes, so. Smoked turkey has such a beautiful smell. Ah, honestly, my favorite way to eat turkey is a smoked turkey. If you have never tried it, recommend recommend i have my bean mixture bean and tomatoes right here so i'm gonna start putting this inside into the nachos oh look at that make sure do not leave any spots i don't want people fighting at the party who gets the nacho that has the most <laughs> toppings in it right so we have our, our turkey here. Oh, again, make sure you get every spot, every spot in there. And that's looking really nice. That's looking really beautiful. So I'm gonna add more of the crema on top to finish it up. And then we're gonna add our pickled squash. So there you go. Mmm, wow. Can't believe this is dairy-free and it's already smelling so good. 
so delicious. Last but not least, I'm gonna add our pickle squash. You can add any pickle stuff you have at home, really. This is what I have, and again, for me, it's really important that I emphasize that you can use things that you have at home, okay? So, let's get that in here. Nice. Get all those juices as well. Pickle juice is the best. Thank you for watching. These are all loaded nachos. They are dairy free. And I hope we see you soon. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Thank you for watching again. These are, all, these are all loaded nachos. They are dairy free. And if you have game night, you're getting together with your friends, or you are having dinner and you want something easy that can surprise your guest, here you have it. Thank you. See you soon. Mm. Hey, uh -huh. <laughs> That's good.